Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you why there are so many uncompleted buildings in Ghana. Reason number one is the loan system in Ghana is very, very, very weird as the interest rate is like 12% plus, somebody could be paying like 25%. Because of that, most people choose to build out of pocket and that could take 10, 15 years before that's done. And some people also, people with a government job, they give them small loans. And when they take the loan, they use it for the project and they have to finish paying off the loan before they can go back and get another loan again. And they're slowly building. That could also take seven plus years. Another reason why there are a lot of completed buildings in Ghana is actually construction can fail. Ghanaians love to take shortcuts. So instead of using the professionals to provide the job, they don't, they try to take shortcuts and they end up actually in a position where the building cannot go up anymore. And they've put so much money in it that it just, it doesn't make sense for them to continue. They will just leave the building abandoned so the project basically failed and uh, that happens a lot actually in front of my house that project failed but luckily it wasn't so bad and the lady was able to fix it so you just gotta use a professional that's definitely one of the reasons you see a building that's really really old the project failed and they can't continue have to demolish the whole thing and do it over again or they have to do a lot of work and that person is just fed up you know the amount of money that went in before they realized that it failed it's just not worth it they just let it be also some people are you know building and while they are building they will travel, you know, get an opportunity outside of Ghana and travel abroad and they just leave the place abandoned for a while and that could take years before, you know, they decide to build. Some people might not even ever continue, they might not come back and uh, the place gets abandoned for a long, long time. That's another reason. Another reason is some people start building because, you know, they had a great job and everything was going well for them and while they are building, they get to a certain level and they lose their job or something happens and now they can't continue and they have to wait around until they get another opportunity because the way the African system is, to get a job is extremely hard. So once you lose the job that you have, you can wait years before you get another job and that job might not pay you the same. So some people just go broke and their house is dead. They would like to finish it, but they just don't have the funds. And like I mentioned, to get a loan out here, it's not a joke. So you got to build it out of pocket and if you lose your job, you're essentially out of funds and you just got to until you are able to continue. Another reason is the person who's building could die, right? Death happens and uh, sometimes it's unexpected and they did not prepare well. There is no will. And the way things are here, nobody wants to take the risk of using their money to finish a house. There's no will on it that was given to this person. It's gonna be extremely hard for someone to step up and put their money in the building to finish it because they don't want other family members to come and claim it. And you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff that could happen. And they just leave the place abandoned and it could be years. I mean, I've seen houses that it was there before I was born and it took like 30, 35, 40 years later before somebody finally touched it. And yeah, that could happen. Nobody wants to take the risk and a lot of family issues and they, they can just leave the house there for years, 50 plus years. There. So that's definitely one of the reasons. Another reason is land issues. You know, land issues in Ghana could be very, very dangerous and you know, it's not a joke. And some people just don't have their heart to stand it because they will be threatening you spiritually, physically, a whole bunch of stuff. And the person might have started something and they are bothering that person. Some people, they don't have the heart for it. They don't have the stomach to take the pressure and all the threats that's coming their way and they just abandon it. And the person who's actually bothering them, they just maybe wanted money or something like that. So they're not gonna touch the project and that will be there for years. Definitely one of the reasons. Some people also come and you know bother you. And if you are strong, you try to you know, stand up to them. They end up taking the court and that could take years, especially if a family member sold it to you and, you know, they didn't have a title and, you know, there is not like, you don't have like proper documentation. It takes a long time for the court to settle it because it becomes kind of like family issue. I'm actually dealing with that right now. I'm not the one in court, but my family land is family issue. Somebody showed the land to me and another family member from a extended family who didn't have the right to sell the land to somebody else and it's in court and that could take forever because like the chief has to come and say, oh, I give it to this person and that and that, and that, that could take so long. So just gotta get your paperwork right. That's definitely one of the reasons why uh, you, know, you see a lot of uncompleted buildings out here. Also, people can actually steal your land here. So there are situations where the building that you see, the person who's building actually stole the land, they did not buy it. They came in, they saw an opportunity and they just started building. And the owner eventually shows up 
and of course this this situation could be very dire and then they end up in court and once it gets to court that could take a while i'm sure there are other reasons why there are a lot of uncompleted buildings but this is the reasons that i know of why there are a lot of uncompleted buildings in ghana some people are simply building like i said take a long time among all the reasons why there are a lot of uncompleted buildings in ghana the one that pains me greatly the fact that you know, people left their building or somebody came to cause issues because they wanted money from this person and they had no legitimate claim over the land but because of using muscles and threatening them spiritually some people really get scared with regards to that and abandon their building and those people who are causing all these issues are just walking around you have no legitimate claim over the land you should definitely serve some time in jail at least two years i think if that was the law we would not be having all the issues that we are having now people come and cause issues and there is no consequences they just waste your time and move on if you've not subscribed already can you do so and hit the bell for notification like this video i say how to the audio until next time my friends be legendary peace